So let's let's dig into our three tips. Um, do you want to start with number one for us? Sure. So number one, if I have a student who's learning to communicate in a different way, I want to make sure they have access to a lot of words. So there's sometimes this instinct to just say, I'm just going to give them two words because right now we're just talking about this. So I'm just going to give them words for this. Um, but what we know from doing this for a while and seeing how different systems work, kids need access to all the words. As little kids, typically developing kids are growing up, we speak all the words around them and they have the ability to practice saying them back. Um, so our kids who are learning a different way need access to a lot of words and they are gonna kind of babble and practice saying them back until they learn which words work at which point in their day. So tip number one is give them lots of words. If you think six is a lot, sit next to a typically developing four-year-old for a little while and think how many words they say in an hour. <laughs> it's a lot more than that. There's a lot of variety there. So um, just avoid that, that roadblock of wanting to limit or pick the words for someone else. That's way too much responsibility. I don't want to say, here are the only things that you, Nikki, are going to be able to say today. I'm going to pick your list for you. That's just, let's give them as many words as possible. That's number one. 